public hearing is now scheduled to discuss the future of the Bayway in order to bring some much needed relief to this portion of I-10. As WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown tells us, the preliminary steps are underway, but we're still in the early stages of this Bayway improvement project. And officials say now is when you need your voice to be heard. Yeah, the Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization opening that public hearing next month. They're hoping people from both sides of Mobile Bay get involved. What was expected to happen is now taking place May 19th at the Fairhope Satellite Courthouse. A meeting held that night will give everyone a chance to express their thoughts and give comment on the future of the I-10 Bayway. If you don't get involved, then don't complain about what happens. And these guys will take advantage of it, as you well saw. I mean, the way they were talking last time, it was my way or the highway. During Wednesday's Eastern Shore MPO meeting, the item was kept off of the long-range transportation plan in order to allow time for public input. There's still a lot of people with concerns, you know, that want to consider maybe taking the toll bridge. Do you want to merge with truck traffic? Do you agree with the idea of a truck-only bridge? Do you agree with a project being built in phases? What would you support? The next policy board meeting is scheduled for June 9th, and that's when the Bayway item could also get added to the transportation improvement program known as the TIP. It's a needed step to put things into motion. The big question is, can we get the funding? Can we afford it? Can we keep the tolls affordable, and can we retain the, the toll-free legacy routes? While a solid plan for what the Bayway project could look like isn't known yet, they're hoping for a packed room the night of that public hearing. In Daphne, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.